Hello, hello everybody, I'm Grant Fluff from Floodster Sports Zone. A little quick sports update for you. The Jaguars are going to start rookie Jake Lutton out of Oregon State this Sunday, week 9, against the Houston Texans. Uh, they do not elect to go with Mike Lennon. Thank goodness. I'd much rather see this rookie, see what he can do, maybe trade him or something, get some value for him, or keep him as a backup. Who knows? Because you could probably get more value out of Minshew, because of course Minshew is out with a thumb injury, so he ain't playing week nine. And he might not even be playing week 10. We simply don't know yet. But yeah, no, this is a very smart move by the uh, Jaguars going for Jake Lennon here. It was rumored all weekend that they were going to start Mike Lennon and this video had just been me complaining about that because let's be real, we know what's gonna we know what's gonna happen with Mike Lennon, alright? Lennon would probably even get benched. He'd probably even get benched for Lennon, so you might as well start Lennon, see what the kid can do, and if he sucks, well then okay, I, I guess you put in Lennon. I'd prefer if they just didn't put in Lennon at all. i prefer if they just release him right now to stop and stop the urge of, you know, wanting to put him in. Especially if Minshew's also out for Week 10 if Lennon is bad. Uh, and that also reminds me, um, as much, if, if Minshew is somehow out long-term, I'm pretty sure a Bortles... Uh, reunion is pretty much out of the question, but that would be pretty sick if that was to happen. But yeah, let's be real, they, they ain't doing that. And then, eh, I mean, I mean, trade deadline's Tuesday. There's really no need to trade for a quarterback, because if this is only a week or two, Minshew's fine, obviously. He can, he can at least be the start for the rest of the year. And then, you know, we can just continue to uh, lose for... Uh, Lose for Lawrence, but let's be real, the Jets are getting the first overall pick, so now we can uh, now we can lose for Justin Fields, so I don't know. It's gonna it's, the Jaguars are definitely gonna pick up a quarterback. Just but I don't know. If it's Lawrence or Fields, go for it. If it's someone like Trey Lance or anybody else, don't. Just keep Minshew. That's just my uh, opinion honestly but Jake Lund's getting the start I think his stat line is going to be just like Ben DiNucci's was with the Cowboys on Sunday night he's got to play like okay he's not gonna wow anyone though I mean there is a reason why he's a rookie backup and he's it's definitely gonna get exposed Houston should easily win this game just like they did week five or week six against us in Houston this one is in Jacksonville so yeah the, the Texans should easily get the victory I would say Lutton, stat-wise, would probably go, like, no more than 20 completions on, like, no more than 35 attempts. Probably throw an interception or two. He might also throw a touchdown or two. But without D.D. Westbrook, eh. Just utilize LaVisca Chenault, D.J. Chark, and Tyler Eifert. And, uh, Lutton, I don't know. Lutton might actually do good. But, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're going to definitely lose. To Houston. This was supposed to be the London game, but of course now it's in Jacksonville due to COVID. So yeah, but I mean London and Jacksonville and Houston, it don't matter. We're gonna lose this game without a doubt. But uh you know, it's definitely uh it's definitely gonna be interesting to see Jake London and they definitely made this game much more watchable than uh, putting in Mike London. Let's be real, they put in Mike London, I wouldn't even bother to tune in because it's Mike London. He's like the he's the worst backup quarterback. And like I know he has experience, but He's bad. <laughs> Mike Lennon's like still one of the worst backups in the league despite having experience. I mean, he was okay his rookie year, but yeah, quickly fell apart, and then that's why the Buccaneers drafted Jameis Winston's because of Mike Lennon, so remember that. But that's going to be the end of the video. Just want to give you guys a quick little update. Jake Lennon getting the start week nine for the Jags, and uh, he's probably going to suck, and let's be real, he probably will, but... This makes the game interesting. I don't know. I mean, this is a chance to prove himself. If he plays well, he can stay as the backup. He can perhaps get traded elsewhere. Who knows what happens, right? But, um, I mean, maybe he'll do what Brett Rippon did and miraculously pull a win out of his anus. But uh, let's be real, that, that, that's not happening. I know, you know, Houston Jacksonville, I know they have the same record pretty much, but they both have one win. But the, the Texans should at least have three or four if they uh, didn't get screwed in that Titans game and, you know, Bill O'Brien wasn't their coach at the beginning of the year, so they, they should already have about at least three or four wins. So in reality, still think Houston's a pretty good team. So, yeah, no, Jaguars are going to get destroyed at the bank. But 
Let me know what you guys think. Jake and Lighten getting the start. Again, I'm proud because heading in all throughout this weekend, I was hearing Mike Glennon start for the Jaguars, and I'm like, whew. No, he is not. And he would have started this weekend. If the Jaguars were on the bye week, you could guarantee Glennon was starting this weekend. That's a sad thing. But luckily, the bye week gave the coaching staff some time to think, and I think they made the absolute right move here trying to play the rookie over some unproven veteran. Good job, although we're going to lose anyway. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Grant Fluff from Fletcher Sports Zone. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Duval till I die. I'm out. Jake Lutton, please do something decent. If you perform like what Minshew usually does, I would be somewhat impressed. But uh, yeah, Daguar's going to drop to 1 in, was that 1 7, 1 6, whatever. And yeah, Houston, congrats on the uh, victory right out of the gate. I'm filming this Tuesday, but congrats on the victory.